Welcome to Free Academic English. I'm Geraldine. In today's motivational video, I want to motivate you into learning English by sharing my experience getting my driver's license. It's been quite a journey, and I think there are many things that are similar to what happens to you when you're trying to learn English or when you're trying to get a desired score on an exam, like TOEFL or IELTS. The most important things that I've learned are, first, the choices in you. Second, if you're like me and other people's opinions matter, that they shouldn't, but for some reason you are very sensitive to what other people think, like me, be surrounded by positive people people who are going to help you. Three, time doesn't matter. And by time, I mean how long it takes you to do something and how old are you when you are doing it. You, get, you have to see the, you know, the, the, the similarities between my driving and learning English. 16 years ago, similarity, maybe you started studying English 16 years ago also. But you know, you stop and you uh, continue and you stop and something like that happened to me. The driver's license is your TOEFL or IELTS score. I need to get that. So I don't go and take the exam. I can do that if I know how to drive. First, I need to learn how to drive. So 18 years ago, the family had a car, so I could practice with a car and, you know, learn how to drive. But it was not so easy to find the time to do it, even though I had a car there. Any similarities? So I was uh, learning how to drive. So when I was in a safe environment, like no other cars, <laughs> I could drive. But then, for example, one time my teacher told me, let's go on the streets. And I was like, no, not yet. And he was, yeah, let's do it. There, somebody pushing you to do it, you know? So I said, yeah, you're right. I'm going to go because I know how to drive. So I drove around the city and the real one, the police stopped me and I had to pull over. And it was awful. It was awful because, well, nobody wants to be stopped by the police. And also that was telling me that anybody could see that I was learning. I didn't want it. I wanted to, I mean, I, I didn't want anybody to notice that I was learning, but I didn't want to drive anymore. I didn't want to drive because I was not doing it well. I, I got stopped by police and I didn't. As you have done in English, when you realize that you made too many mistakes or when somebody tells you you're making mistakes or somebody's telling you that you aren't good. I had to take to, to get my driver's license. But when I was going to study more for the exam, other things happened in my life. You know, I was studying, I was at university, I had to travel, I had to do one thing, the other. Like in life, you, you know that English is important, that English is useful, that you have to learn it, but other things happen and you just leave it there. Like this month, I'm not gonna study English. I was like that. Oh, uh, the license, not this month because I have to travel. And then you forget. And that's what, I ha what happened to me, I forgot. You have like six months uh, since you start the process of getting your driver's license here in Peru. And uh, I did this with a friend and he called me like on a Wednesday and he said, hey, on Sunday it, uh, our, our time expires, so we need to go and take the exam. And I don't remember if I just couldn't that weekend or I chickened out. Things that I didn't go. And I said, oh, never mind. I didn't even say, I'm going to start the process again tomorrow. No, I said, I'll do it someday. And then in the following years, you know, my friends got their licenses too. And I was like, oh yeah, once I was doing that, but something happened. But yeah, I'll do it. I'll do it someday, like you in English. And that someday just became some year, some decade probably. And here I am, 34 years old, and we have a car again as a family. And I am almost forced into getting my driver's license, which was a good thing because yeah, I wanted to get it. I always wanted to get it, but 
I don't know. At some point during that process, I decided that I didn't want to be pushed anymore, that I was going to do it for myself and by myself. So that was an important point that you have to decide to do it. Because it's good to have help people pushing you, but that is like external motivation, but there's no inner motivation, real one that makes you do things. But once you decide, well, you decide. So I decided, and you know, I haven't driven a car for 17 years, um, but I have to learn again. And here, my teacher, my teachers, because I had, let's say four different teachers or four different opinions. The opinions were, you're gonna do it in no time. Not, I'm paraphrasing. <laughs> like, you, you have this. And I, I didn't feel that I had it. But those words really helped me. I don't know if I had it, even if I didn't have it, they helped me. But yes, I, I have it, I have it. That is my problem. That, that's been my problems from the beginning, you know? I've never thought that I can drive well. Like maybe you think that you're not good at English. So that is a bad thought because you are. And as I can drive, I am good at it. I just don't believe it like you. So believe it, believe it. And people who tell you that you're not, they're just ignore them because they're wrong. And people who are telling you that you can, that you're good at this, well, listen to those because they are telling the truth and you have to believe it. Well, again, I had to take the test, but I was not going to go and take it. But since they forced me, I kind of had to start with the process again. So I again had six months, which are plenty of time, right? So I started doing this 17 years ago. So I passed the rules exam. And when I am, you know, a co-pilot, I kind of get, yeah, you have to stop here. So yeah, I got it. So I need just a couple of lessons to get my driver's license. That is the mistake you make when you say, yeah, I studied English. I can say the TOEFL. It's not like that. Now first, what I needed was to be confident with my level of driving. <laughs> like you with your level of English. So for, I, I really needed to to, to practice um, a lot more than I thought. But uh, when I decided to move forward, guess what? Something happened. I have many things to do. I'll do it a little bit later. And I'll practice once in a while. But I did it. A lot more practice. So I started practicing, but I didn't have a date for my test because I wasn't ready. And I never felt ready until my process was going to expire. And I was 35 already, because that was last month. So I had the time against me. I had learned how to drive, but I wasn't ready for the exam because I, I didn't know what the exam was like. So one day before the test, I went to practice there for the exam. And they showed me what I had to do, because it's a circuit. They show you what to do, or when to stop, well, those are things you should know, but they just help you around, how to, you know, park and everything. And I did well. But again, I already knew how to drive in order to get there first, because you have to rent a car, you have to rent a circuit. It would be a, a waste of time and money if I went there without knowing how to drive, because the teacher would just teach me how to drive and not to how to do the circuit. What I was there was to do the circuit. Like you, when you're ready with your English, you have to go and take a, a TOEFL-like exam, but not before. So I had to do chances. But you really have three chances, which you don't have in TOEFL and IELTS, yes. And, but everything was about to expire, so I didn't have three chances. I had two chances only. I was kind of lost, but I said, I'm gonna do it. I, I'll take it like practice. And well, if I get it license, that would be great because you know, who knows? So I was there waiting for my result with this feeling, eh, who knows? 
but thinking like I really don't know how to drive they shouldn't give me the license but if I get it I'll be happy <laughs> and I needed a 12 I got an 11 but what can you do I I wasn't sure what I was doing I, it was only fair and they asked me do you want somebody to explain your mistakes yes please yes <laughs> Definitely. And that helped me a lot. And there was this guy, he was a kind guy. He told me, well, here it says that you weren't sure. So are you sure about your abilities and whatever? You don't have to go so slowly. You can do, you, you don't have to go so slowly. You have to be sure of what you're doing. That really helped me because yeah, I, I knew how to do it, but I was afraid. I was afraid of not doing it well. So after my exam, I went and practiced again. And he practiced, but what I practiced, I learned the parking thing, trying and trying. Almost the whole time I was there, I was trying to do the parking. I couldn't until I, I, I got it. I got it, so I was confident that I knew how to do it. And then the rest I did was just trying to believe in myself while driving. Because I was driving, I knew how to drive. Why didn't I believe in myself? Like you, you speak English, just to say it. Don't hesitate, trust what you are, trust what you know, because you are good and you know how to do this. And it happens that you make a lot of mistakes, but just keep practicing because it's a practice that makes master. So I went there and took the test again and I passed with a minimum score, but I passed. So my point is, I knew how to drive, but I needed some tricks for the exam. But I knew how to drive. If I hadn't known how to drive, I wouldn't have passed anyway, not even knowing the tricks. Because in order to get the tricks, you need to know how to drive. Same in English. You first speak English, and then learn the trick for certain exam. But if you don't speak English, then the tricks are not going to be very helpful. I have my driver's license. And guess what? I need to continue. And I need to continue practicing. I have to continue practicing and to continue developing my confidence. That's very important. I need to develop my confidence when driving, just as you when you are speaking English. Thank you very much for watching. Subscribe, share, and I hope... To see you soon.